Previously on AI The Somnium Files. Why did boss kill so? Ching Chong food. I'm so fresh you can suck my- Date, I know where the boss is. Very boss intricate. Phone. Oh, I hear a phone. I know Name that. Date, you were under arrest for murder. Ah yes, I've been what framed. Nani! Tavi! Space, 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 space! Space! <laughs> the voice acting is so bad. That's not how a fire pump works. What? You can see I'm not the mendic. Excuse me, what? One check, one. Ladies and oh my god. Oh, this is Renju getting killed. Yeah, this is how Iris died, uh, Rian. I'm so fresh. Let's yeah, let's just try tackling it and see what happens. Cause it's cause um obviously we can't do anything. Eh? What eh? What the fuck? Eh? Oh, shit. What kind of, kind of stupid logic is this? Whoa! And now, the actual video. It's actually the same person murdering the other guys. No, no, no. Renju killed- No, Renju killed his wife. You will you will understand why later, but Oh please. you looked up spoilers for this game, didn't you? Duh. Oh hell uh What? I was hoping you would keep yourself spoiler took free. A look around your head I do I not like something. being kept in suspense. Something I hate about it. the new Cyclops serial killings. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and So Sejima. Who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body, but who shot So? Yeah, spoiled you will Bobby. be. It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, Fight. anyway. But that's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit, one person, and that person is. Who is the new Cyclops killer? Josh. Oh, it's not any of the choices that I would pick, because I think I know who it is. Yes. The person you, currently. The person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. Can you at least try to make sense? All right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? There's a prototype sink machine there. You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. How oh, is this unknown? We know it's Putin that says this. Mind? Consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. I don't know where it started, but at some point, you got into Shoko's brain. <laughs> Midori. <laughs> then, you got into Renju's and got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris, you strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into So, who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cold storage warehouse. Now, you're in Boss's body, inside her head. I see. If you know that, why much, leave it? Just gonna go to back hide. inside again, you fucking retard. Oh yes, I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. Dun dun dun! Sight. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Who was inside Iris during your interrogation on Sunday? Huh? That was me. You imitate her well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. Earlier too, you almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's hey, brain. Hey, Bran, what's up? Let's call that parasitism. <clears throat> the one transferring is the parasite. The one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't complete. Yeah, Midori, yeah, you got the same idea I do. About 1% remains in the brain. So, a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language you just and thought that you huh? oh, of the host. That stinks, but then again, That's it is a Friday morning, so thank God it's Friday, right? Pocket, by the way. Weekend is to tomorrow, and, and Iris we'll do weekends. Memories. I'm gonna be probably gonna be streaming Modern Warfare tomorrow. Uh, who the hell are you? Saito, Saito Sejima. Wait, no, we Why got it wrong, Midori. No, Midori, we got it wrong. 
<laughs> it's not. So, it's not eighty nine. <laughs> At least I don't think it's eighty nine. Attack of the body snatcher shit near man. No, this 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 is um. What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. He is not a person. He is not a person. He is six 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 six. Give me the details of each crime. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sink machine? I mean, it's pewter. Not only that. You also seem to know what the sink machine is truly capable of. Why is that? That's regaining your memories, are you? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain, gradually, slowly taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in. How are you doing, Hedgehog? Right uh, haven't seen you in the chat in a while. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. No, a fractal is a dungeon in Guild Wars 2. Wait. <laughs> Allow me to explain. See this? The Koch, the, the Koch curve in the Sibensky triangle. Huh. Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. He is claiming that from a few pieces. You can rebuild the memory. Oh! Parallel worlds exist. No way! It's a fractal dungeon fourteen. <laughs> that light thing. I'm telling you, it was me. Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the somnium I entered on Sunday. That's right. It was me. Suda. Oh, so that's why Iris's somnia on that brunch is so strange. No wonder. Holy moly! What's going on here? Big brain moment. Why did he see my face? Why did we see my face? Continue. Fine, I still have time. Time. You'll see. So, where do you want me to start? It's just past midnight on Tuesday. Shoko was killed on Friday. If you think of that as day one, today is day five. What was Saito doing during those days? I had to ask him. Oh, okay. Uh, day one? Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came hmm. over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced? Switched personalities and then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. Christ. Jeez. Louise. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car using the old abandoned subway line. Okay, fair enough. That makes fair enough. That makes sense. That was part Must of the investigation. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. Mizuki and Daddy got caught up in something serious. Ah. Then I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Oh, this is more intricate than I- way, way more intricate than I thought it was. Yeah. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5 p.m. Then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Oh anyway, I put her in the car Ota, Ota. and headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no <clears> time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. And that's the reason why we found his watch but inside then, that oil drum. Something I didn't Bad anticipate me. happened. Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. It was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him, but... I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. So, I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. Uh, excuse me. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. And just like that, 
I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Come on, you fucking retard. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am of course referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job, and when I left... I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. Story sounds so good. I can't the interrogation so much began on 8.20pm, uh, is that right? The VODs are still up on my the VODs are still up on my um Then you synced into my mind. Uh, so uh so don't worry. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him, so I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. He did as I instructed him to do. After that, I got into the van with Ota, but because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes, the Sejima residence. Hmm, of course I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Hello, father, it's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time, but I thought I could use oh, that to my advantage. God so damn I pushed it. on the intercom and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed, and got into the van with me. We arrived at the prototype sync machine around 11.50pm. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. And this was yesterday, early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around 1.00 then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but, well, you saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? That annoyed me to no end and I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. Didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss, you might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. The two shared a terrible secret. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. I injected wow. her with a sedative, then brought her body to the chemical plant. Seriously? I synced with her, exchanged our bodies, and after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. You following so far, Midori? I stuffed the meat into and, and, and everyone else? Then drove back to my house. Saito spoke with grace and a sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. Why didn't the sink victims resist after waking? Ah, the prototype sink machine has a special feature. Gotta get back to work, take care. You take care of us all, Bren. Have a good day at work, body. and I hope I'll see you and next stream as well. To the host after a sink. That yeah, it's better than he expected. <laughs> yeah, it's better than I expected too. Why did you take out your victim's eyes? You know all about the prototype sink machine, don't you? That should explain it. I knew. The prototype sync machine differed from the one at Abyss in a few key ways. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Nano cables from the sync gear enter through the gap between the eyeball and socket. They then travel down the optic nerve canal to the brain. But why is it different? Well, the prototype sync machine isn't so advanced. To perform a sync, you need to remove the left- Oh my god! Jeez! 
Okay, so that's why they were all missing their left eyes because the prototype sync machine removed their eyes. The fuck? I know, they needed to remove the left eye, that's why they need to. So that's how they could use the prototype machine. So that's why it's the prototype. Yeah, subject the sinker had to remove the eye from the socket, otherwise the cables cannot enter the brain. Of course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. No, no. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back in the socket. It's supposed to be safe, side effects are rare, unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged. Replacing the eyeball isn't too difficult. Oh, okay, I get it. So it's not actually like removing the eyeball entirely, it's dislocating it, then putting it back. Eh. Of course, I don't really care about eyes. I don't need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. Serious? And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it. Eh? Where are the eyeballs that you removed? I ate them now. Shoko's is in Renju. Renju's oh, is yeah. Iris. Oh god. They ate- oh no. Iris's is in Dad. Dad's is in Boss. That is disgusting. Their stomachs, I mean. You sick bastard. Yes. I ate them. Immediately after exchanging personalities. How I mean, you weren't wrong then. Jeez. Why you just spit the bodies the way you did? To harass you. Seriously? To harass me? I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. That's why I called Mizuki yeah. to Bloom Park. Ugh. That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were uh, DJ, important to what? Two clowns tried to attack what? me. Uh, three clowns attacked me. I, I was alone with my 30 second reload. I killed two of them. Trapped. Very good. Comedy master. Date. Hey, what's the motive for all of this? Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it. What can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. Uh, if I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't uh, risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against you. Against me, though? Why? Why, though? That's Personal. I chose people close to you as targets. Well, Except for my father, of course. Father. That was personal to me, but don't. That means the boss has such a nice rank, but wasted. She's evil now. He, this, she, it. I, I mean, basically, her personality is dead. This isn't her, it's just a Yeah, body. her personality is dead, yeah. Traveling Therefore, she's nothing but a sex doll. Finally reach the end. I'm probably gonna have to kill her. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, <clears> don't you? Where do you think that? Look at her fucking cleavage, my god. You are home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. When I return home, my travels will come to an end. So I'll be needing it back. My body. What? You stole my body. <laughs> AG memes. Wait, excuse me? Wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. So this body is... Saito Sejima? No, yeah, yeah, that's Saito Sejima. No, 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 it, Date is not so sun. This body is so sun. But the mind of Kaname Date is somewhere else. He's so stunned. You know, I, 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 really, I really wish that this could all have been new to you, so I could have gotten Stun, a good reaction. But like, okay, that's fair. The, I the thing is, if I don't spoil myself, I will still be down here hiding three hours later. Okay. Because it takes me a while to absorb. I don't know, that's what I'm trying to figure out now. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. <laughs> Tragedy! Na 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 tragedy. tragedy! He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oh, is that why Date is such an emotionless idiot? Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding it, Date? Very cool, eh? <laughs> Very cool. Goodness. That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. That is because I regularly supplement it. Oh. They must have increased your dosage too much. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. That is what I believed as well, but we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned, only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently imprisoned. That's strange. That would mean 
Number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. That must be it. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Pewter must have known that. No way. Wait, so where is Kanami, Kaname Date? Yeah, this is so Let confusing. Let's determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before boss? So Sejima. Tabi. Tabi. <laughs> and before So? So he was before, so before boss it was So. Iris. And then Iris. And before that, Renju. Before that, Renju. And before that, Shoko. And then Shoko. And before Shoko. Me? Josh. Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. Oh. I'd lost most There's of my the memories. link now. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. Oh, so the reason why Rohan was hospitalized according to MoMA was not because he had some brain disorder, it's because Saito Sejimo was living in his head. But I still Fight. had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier, from a single piece, you can re- Whoop, Whoops, I, I did not, not mean to skip that. Slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... Sight! She died. She did a big shine. That's why Rohan committed suicide. She one check on herself. Wow. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about Fucking you. stalker. But then who was he before Rohan? In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull, my personality lived there. So wait, so who am I then? <laughs> Number 18. Hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? Who is Kaname? Where it was Kaname Date? It was in Rohan. I'm okay. Wait, now I'm a, I'm a lot more confused now. Uh, so okay, so this so this body is Saito said. I'm not Rohan. Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number eighty nine was in Rohan's body. Wait. So we are number eighty nine. Yeah. In other words. That's my real. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, that Come makes on. a lot more sense now. Yo, why is he stumped there? I don't know. <laughs> Bruh. You think he told me Sadate was dating Iris's mom? Yeah, she was. <laughs> no, 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 this is Falco. This is number 89. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <sighs> I know I guess, that you yeah. won't. I know it. Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! What? What? <laughs> Bombs! <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. What up? It's over, Mini. Oh! We're gonna finish this game! I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Pewter, contact headquarters now. Got it. Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? Obey Saito, or so it's like if I do it, this game has been long and interesting, and it's no, great. No. I love it. It's not a struggle to play a role now, it makes sense. Hey, yeah, you're right! Yeah, fine, do it. Date! Do it! See, Date! I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you will. Don't I, Date? I just want those titties. Running okay, now I'm gonna have to remember the code, the, the, the two codes for the self-destruct. Saito Sejima, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a set of numbers and then you need to tell a lie, that's right. I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? I don't all need right. to tell you. I'll tell you as promised. In heaven. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. 
Sadi the sword. What? I'm gonna get banned. Wow, the camera survived. Why? No. Return my body and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! Your legs injured, you idiot! You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Be seeing you. Aha! One check. One. Hey! <laughs> Iva is like, no, I don't care. Puyao! <laughs> Sergeant Puyao! Right? Hi, Iba. Iba's voice barely resonated. I saw it was hazy. He put broken images. Wow, seriously? Everyone's dead. Mina <laughs> got shy. Iris Ota, he told me. Boss, the flesh remains, the mind is lost. I didn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. Who or where or why? I thought there's really such a world that me in that world, I is another. I, I is can. another. A better future. So I guess this is the route that unlocks the. This is the 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 the, the point where I unlock the last route. Perhaps. And then I'm gonna. Uh, the case remains unsolved, or, or something. I don't know. Yep, that was an ending. <laughs> The case. Annihilation route. End. So everybody's dead now. Wow. Okay. So now, I'm guessing we go and unlock the true ending, which is the very last ending that we need for this game.